freeform. Yeah. Then we got Boosk sitting down. <laughs> oh, I, I was definitely going to still say it like that. We got Boosk sitting Boosk. down playing the Greninja. Not Booski. <laughs> Not Booski. Boosk. <laughs> yeah, Greninja main from Smash 4 transferred over into this game, and he's been playing relatively good. Well, he, he's from South Jersey, mm -hmm. so there's not a lot of local teams out there, and they're not as strong. But don't that doesn't apply oh. to Boost. So he travels out to like the upper Jersey mm -hmm. just to play with the better players and getting the experience. And that's what you need to do as a contender. Like if you don't have the ability to play against the best in your area, you know, work with your local, but also get yourself out to some of these other events. And playing against a Greninja in general, that is a stressful thing to do in this game. This character is very good. Very pretty much reminiscent of, you know, Smash 4 Fox with the way these vortexes were. Yeah. And good tech from Boost right there. He would have definitely lost the stock from that down smash. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, Jackal definitely looking for it there. But he's looking for these F-tilt at the ledge, going super high, trying to potentially catch him on the top. That's not going to take anything off. Yeah, and they're both sitting shield right there. And the aggressive options from Boost, the S Master the wrong way, trying to make the read with the back throw, not taking it from Jackal. Yeah, you know, and Jackal, he's consistently just going for the simple ledge drop options, trying to catch him being a little, uh, you know, a little bit aggressive out of shield to up smash. But Boosk's Boosk defense has actually been pretty on point. Like, he's not been really been getting caught. Down tilt to fair, gonna force him off stage. Oh. And you can't stand at the ledge from Wolf. Yeah, you gotta either hold that shield, hope for not a shield poke, but the dash attack's gonna finally take it out. You gotta respect Wolf even when he's recovering. Yo, the Charlie Brown taking the stock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Boosk actually opting to fade back, just throwing out a bunch of bears. Digging deep, oh. but luckily for him, Greninja's recovery is still very solid, so yeah. even after getting caught on that side B, he's gonna make it back without much uh, issue. But Some now, people just died of that. Yeah, but now look, he's at 40%, 52 and racking it up. Jackal just beat. I actually like that aggressive recovery too, like throwing out the single hit, uh, like the single shuriken to make it seem like he was trying to back him off. And throwing out that that fair on the way back in might not have been able to respect it. It worked out for him. Yeah, but Jackal just keeping him at the ledge. Just yes. Yeah, so far it's kind of been the consistent game plan for Jackal. Just like throw, it, keep him at the ledge, throw out some safe hitboxes, force him to try and find his way back in. But we already see, like, Boost, Boost doesn't look like he's getting too phased by the fact that he's taking a lot of damage. Like, he's still confident in his approach. Oh, missing the dash attack. <laughs> dash attack to dash attack being a frame drop option. It, just barely missing with that up air on the way back down too. And look how quick he's... <gasps> oh, and he catches oh. him! That was an immaculate play from Boosk there. He yeah. was he had such a large def Boosk. deficit, and the way that he ran it back is keeping it slow, catching one dash attack for these vortexes. That's what I was talking about before leading to that kill eventually. And now look what happened. He was down before, and he was extending the lead. He d tacked on a nice 30 per 6, six damage, but look right there. Greninja known for his combos, mm -hmm. and he's just running with this. And also, he seems like he's catching on to the fact that Jackal has been relatively aggressive on his way back down. Jackal's probably going to adjust to that now, but at the same time, see, now he can force him into these air dodges that could potentially take a stock. Oh. All right. I missed right there, but I think that's not it just yet, the air dodge. And he called him to go high. Oh, oh he just he... missed the down smash. Bro, I don't know how that down smash missed, but that is going to be a huge thing for Jackal there to make it back. I swear, if he died, I would have lost my damn mind. <laughs> I, I've seen people die to that off of that reverse up B relatively early. So, but 153, he's actually at throw kill percent now too. Like no, Jackal I... has to respect pretty much being at the ledge. Okay, he managed to grab ledge. There it is. And forward throw. Fourth throw being a kill right now, that's exactly what I anticipated to come. He threw out a hitbox to force Jackal into, uh, you know, the holding his shield. The moment he saw that opportunity, at that percent, even if he decided to roll by him, and he got into center stage, up throw a good kill. Jackal yeah. had to play perfectly from that point forward. Yeah, Boosk is not someone to sleep on. No. And we're seeing this is, you know, this is winner's quarters. Uh, Helper a second ago was actually talking about how difficult these pools are today with, uh, like, the, the strong contenders we have in this, uh, in this event. Jackal's one of the people who you would look at normally in a pool, like, you know what? Yeah, he's making it out. Making Easy. Out. Top 32, yeah. winner side. Yeah, they were, Yo, without, no. without, without hesitation. This man's and in then, danger. Yeah, and now he's looking at, you know, a deficit. And Boosk, that's what we was talking about before. Love seeing events like this early in pools because you get to see those people who are trying to make their name on the come up. And all right, we have game two on Town and City. 
Oh my goodness, just quickly racking this up. Uh, wrong call on the F-Tilt though, so uh, Jackal's gonna be able to regain his footing. Yeah, so it looked like Jackal kind of wanted to slow the game down, it feels like, with the longer stage, mm -hmm. and just like shoot, basically shoot with the lasers at him, but Greninja could just do the exact same thing. And also the fact that, you know, Jackal's kills, they're gonna come from the side, so that's what he's aiming for. Down smash, back air, forward smash, but with this uh, higher ceiling, he now makes it a little bit harder. He doesn't have to worry as much about the early upper kills. The up smash, obviously, you know, very, very strong. He wants to get extra survivability as much as he can because um, he's uh, he's looking at yet another deficit here. Yeah. Not too things far are, off, though. Things are not looking ideal. Oh. And right. the dash attack right there. Yeah, finally getting himself in position. Oh, very oh. good call, but it was just the fact that there's such a quick recovery, good mental awareness on Jackal to realize, you know what, let me pull the trigger early. The platform's right there. I'm not going to probably catch him with this right now. Yeah, and he's just dash attacking out of disadvantage right now. But you just got to attack on percent right now as Jackal. Yeah, you know. You got the lead. It's what we were talking about before about the borrowed stock thing. Like, you need to, or borrowed time. If you're in a situation like this right now, where most, co you know, confirms are going to get a kill, good DI from Jackal not dying to that. Oh, it looked like Jackal was yeah. looking for a potential early uh, side B. Like, he faded back trying to catch him on his way back in. Yeah. It also looked like he faded back to dodge. Oh, nice bounce pass right there. But he did it to dodge the Hydro Pump yeah. from Greninja because it caught him several times in the last game. He was high and like he could have potentially recovered early but also wanted to gain stage positioning and he's doing so much better here on this second stock here. But this is this is probably like the most even set we've seen so far amongst players. The dash cancel F tilt gonna force him off stage yet again. Yeah. Jackal had that down day one. He said dash cancel. Oh yeah the moment people saw Kroms literally sliding across the stage like you know what that looks nice. Actually, I think it was the Little Mac players who found it first, but they don't exist anymore. So. Little who? Yeah, the Mac. That, that sounds like a Where's McDonald's Mac? character. How about the Mac Nash? Where'd it go? All right, so. Uh, Boosk, again, I like the fact that Boosk and Jagger, both of them, when looking at these deficits, they don't really get stressed. Like, a lot of times people, when they're behind, even though it's a three-stock game, people get too antsy. They want to go in too fast. Yeah. That, Look. What? Ooh. 78. Uh, uh, all right, fading out just enough to get that nair to stop that bleeding. But this, uh, again, Boosk did the same thing in the last stock. Not Yo, that time, though. He's going to get caught see, by the nails. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> even see the animation come out. He just sliced him. Like the quickest little swipe. Okay, blocking. That time holding shield that time because, yeah. uh, you know, obviously he's not going to die to that at zero. But you don't want to give up a free positional advantage. I like his movement there too, and he actually, because of that neutral B, it forced Jackal to wait just a little bit longer, and actually made him, uh, you know, I'll be a little bit too late. Yeah. J now we're basically playing the one-stock game, and this is Jackal's winner side stock. Yeah, like, we're you know we're looking potential. at Boost potentially moving himself onto uh, the the qualifying. Actually, I think whoever makes it out of this makes it out of pools. I'm not sure. I believe it's top four that makes it out. I believe so. Yeah, so potentially this could be moving on out of pools here. Or just moving further in the bracket. Like, Jackal is not anticipating going out this early, but Boost, I mean, he's looking at a deficit right now, almost potentially dying to that down smash. But it's looking extremely solid. 30, 47%. 55. Oh, no. Oh, nice that's, air dodge. And that's the vortex right there. He, like, he was able to make it down. That Nair's going to give him stage positioning yet again. What's the option here? Get a read to jump. No, he's actually not going to go for it. All right. I got oh, what just, he's full up nares. Boost just keeps jumping into them. Yeah, what a stressful situation for Boost, oh, too, because poke? he wants to get almost get, potentially catching with that fair. That fair is so strong. And you look, he's uh, Jackal's now as well. He's like, all right, I need, I need to get this sealed out now. This is starting to slowly run back on me. If I catch him with a bear or a potential up smash, this could just close this out. Yeah, and be wary of the dash attack. Oh, up to also a kill move. Move us. Oh, he, oh yeah. he catches him on the cross up with the dash attack, and he's actually going to die off the top just barely. And Jackal going to bring this to a game three. Yeah, and I like the reaction he just did on his shield. He just did it, and then he waited for Boost to do another defensive option. Mm -hmm. Not roll right there. Oh, exactly. Just, that's just the stare down right there. That, we're about to see the dash attack. Yeah. Do it. It, like, because of the fact that he was at 158, it's like, all right, I'm stressed. I don't want to get hit by maybe a Nair and get thrown off. 
Um, somebody make a jackal laugh over there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, jackal and booze. <laughs> yeah, both of them having a great time. Yeah, these are these are close friends actually. Yeah, like, and, you know, two two young up and coming stars in the in the game. Obviously, Jackal in the last game was one of the few people who could walk away and say, "Hey, I beat MK Leo." Yeah, and, my MK Leo number is zero. <laughs> yeah, like it's uh, he made sure we all knew. But you no, know, I, I, it's it's always impressive to see these uh you know these players on the come up. And Jackal, a little bit more established. I haven't really seen Boost before, but he's impressing me throughout this entire set. Going into this game three here, whoever walks away with his victory, it's going to be very well earned. Very close match so far. All right. And we start off with the short hop fair from it. And we're, we're back on Smash 4 Lance, Smashville. Bring hey, except, him back. Bring hey, him back, homies. Except for, for some reason, the platform stays still. It don't work anymore. It just, just completely it's shut not, down. It's not the ride's past over. Four. <laughs> It's raining now. All right, but these, uh, the approaches from Boost and the combo extensions are going to work really well for him on this platform, but it also works really well for Wolf yeah. catching him with that back air on that jump. Yeah, that's what Bo Wolf's like to look for nowadays. They like to see you jump early right there because that's what the player habit since air dodge is not a good option anymore, and they just take stocks really early with Wolf's amazing back air, and we just take stocks early with those hydro pumps. Yeah, that water being able to push off bad recoveries, you got to take advantage of that, and Boost's consistency on that, it's been so good. <laughs> you definitely know he's from the Boost is from the Water Tribe in the Uh I, I semi don't want to talk about that because we were talking recently about some of the worst movies to ever come out and Last Airbender is definitely one of them. But uh, agreed, right. you know, the way, oh man, did he, he's uh, like trying to find his way back in here. Like Jackal's playing really smart. He's like just throwing out hitboxes on retreat. Hey, see right there, he didn't even commit to uh, after the Nair. It's like, I want to see what you're going to do next. Because yeah. I need to figure out what you're doing really badly right now. You're only at 10% compared to the 126. But we've already seen that Boost has run this back quite a few times, even with the deficit. Yeah. And Boost. Okay, there we go. We've seen the Vortex, the Greninja Vortex, but he's managed to slip out right there. Yeah, it seems like he was trying to get a, um, a much harder reset over all the damage. Like going for the Nair on the way back down on the air dodge, but he couldn't get any follow-up. The yeah. answer with the up tilt, though. Yo, that up tilt is devastating. Yeah, why is that a kill move, too? I don't know. Remember when people said Wolf couldn't kill? Yeah, where they at, though? They're liars. Yeah, they lied. But Greninja also very proficient in the kill department, too. You know, from, uh, again, we've already seen some of these early kills coming in from the fairs and these up smashes, but... The way that he's looking right now, he's got to play a little bit more patient. I think overall, Jackal has been doing such a good job of slowing him down. But then again, we're sitting there talking about playing more patient. He's just turning it up right now. Yeah. Jackal trying to find his footing. He definitely went up a notch. Sometimes you got to kick it up. Like, you know, just uh, maybe the most de defensive option might not be to play. You don't want to take a lot of bad trades. But if you see that your opponent is giving you those opportunities because they might maybe be stressed, take oh. it. I actually like that play. So he basically hydro pumped him, and he saw he was coming back, and he just went down for a ledge trump. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, ooh, just barely, almost dying to that side B. Luckily for Boosk, he got sent to the right. Yeah, but this is not looking good. He's at 83%. Oh, just, you know what? They were playing, that scramble was going so heavy, he probably anticipated that Jackal was going to look for him trying to go for a grab. Calling him out in that spot touch with that forward smash. This is in no way, shape, or form done for Boost. He has to be careful with these back air spacings. Can okay. he get forced back off stage? Yeah, that's not it. Oh, two frame. Ooh. Oh, nice high recovery. Exactly, that was an excellent route to get by. The crowd very much getting into this right now, looking at how close this match is. Boost 127. We've already seen him run it back, but Jackal looking prime to try and take this game three here. Just barely missed it, and the back air takes it right there. Good job from Jackal. Yeah, Didn't Jackal holding his ground very well at the end there. You know, when you have that type of lead, the, s the easiest way to blow that type of match is by going in too aggressively. Like, you don't want to give up uh, the comfort, comfort level that you have at the moment, and he was able to hold his ground. Very difficult.